Hey my dudes, it's Caitlin and today we are going to be doing a study with me for my fundamental genetics exam. So first I'm starting off by making a mind map using the Tombow dual brush pens. So I'm going to make this mind map and it's a pretty dense mind map but before we get into that I have a quick announcement. Okay guys, before we get into the rest of the video, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring another one of my videos. I really appreciate it. I hope that you guys stick around to learn how you can get your two-month free trial of Skillshare Premium. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for you to choose from, and whether you're a creative or a curious person, you'll definitely find a class that piques your interest. Skillshare has classes on basically anything that you can think of, and these classes are built to work around your real life and the circumstances that come along with it. You can use these classes to get creative, learn something new, find a new skill, really anything you can do, you can use a Skillshare class to learn. As you guys know, I like journaling, writing, and drawing, and there's classes for all three of those kind of things on Skillshare, which would be really good to take if you want to learn how to practice mindfulness, get to know yourself better, or just try out any of those things. Some classes that I think you guys would like are Digital Illustration, Learn to Use Procreate, The Perfect 100 Day Project, Your Guide to Explosive Creative Growth, Simple Productivity, How to Accomplish More with Less, and YouTube Success, Build an Authentic Channel That's Worth the Follow, which is something I think that you small YouTubers would like to watch. These classes are not super long and they're all put into digestible chunks so it's really easy to pick up and leave off wherever you want. As you guys know, my favorite class so far has been Learn to Use Procreate Digital Illustration by Jerome Vogel. So I just finished taking this class and I really really enjoyed it. I learned all the basics of Procreate and also learned a little bit about digital art in general. A lot of you guys ask me how to use Procreate and I think that this class would be really great for those of you who ask that. One of the cool things about Skill Skillshare is it's curated for learning, so there are no ads on the classes that you take. It's a complete ad-free experience. If you sign up for an annual subscription, it's less than $10 a month. But with the link in the description, the first thousand of you to click that link will get a two-month free trial of Skillshare Premium. I know that you guys will love it, so I hope that you guys at least click the link, check it out, and see what's up. With this deal, I hope that you guys learn a new skill, find something that sparks your creativity, really anything. I hope that it just inspires you and it helps you guys out. Lastly, make sure to tell me in the comments what classes you guys decide to take. And with all that being said, thank you again Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. Okay guys, so about the mind map. Basically, I suck at mind maps, but I'm trying to get better at them. Um, I'm taking fundamental genetics, so this class has to do with the central dogma of life, which is DNA to RNA to protein. So I basically was like, I'm going to make a huge mind map of all the information we have for exam one, which is all about, you know, transcription, replication, translation, and make it into a big mind map. And I really liked how this turned out, and it really helped me gather all of my information into like one cohesive path, if that makes sense. So if you guys have any tips for mind maps, leave them down below because I am learning how to do mind maps. I did this in my moleskin journal, by the way. This mind map really helped me gather the path that it takes from replication to transcription to translation and connect all the dots. And when I did take my exam, I already did take my exam. When I did take it, um, I specifically remembered writing things from the mind map that helped me recall them for the exam. So this definitely did help me in my studying process. And here's the completed mind map. It's pretty dense, pretty full of information. I could have fit more, but I tried to summarize as much as I could. Next, I'm going on to drawing figures of certain processes. So right now I'm drawing replication for DNA. And I'm trying to do this all from memory because I did fill in the blanks on a drawing very similar to this. So you'll see me correct certain things because I did get some things wrong because I am doing this from memory. But basically this really helped me remember all the enzymes that are involved because I had already done this so I was actively recalling what I was doing, which is really important. Active recall always really helps me.
Next, I'm moving on to taking the practice exam, and this is a really, really important step for me. So I send the practice exam to my iPad and then literally just take it. So the practice exam helps me recall the information that I've been studying for the past couple weeks. I make sure to cross off things that I think are wrong because it helps me sort of figure out, like narrow down what the right answer is. The practice exam was really long, so this took me a really, really long time. It's definitely worth it because it was really similar to the exam, so it definitely helps me prepare. Then after I was done taking the practice exam, I went through and corrected it in red and highlighted the answer that was right in green. Later on, which I didn't film, for the ones I got wrong, I tried to hand write out like in my own words why I got them wrong and what the correct answer was. I just didn't film it. But on the practice exam, I got a 51 out of 59, which ended up being an 86%, which I was really happy with. This is the most failed class of my major, so I was really happy that I got a pretty good score on the practice exam. So next, I'm moving to the practice short answer, which was a little bit harder because short answer is, you know, a little bit harder. But it also helped me prepare a lot. It took me a little longer to do because I took a couple breaks playing with Apollo. It got really hot, so I had to get a fan, and I ended up having a dinner break too. But I finished it in a good amount of time. For both the multiple choice and the short answer, I recalled all the information from memory, so I didn't go back and look at things to try to find the correct answer. I literally just recalled it from my brain. I had steak tacos for dinner, which was really yummy, and... I ended up getting an 86% on the free response too, which I thought was crazy that I got the same on both of them. Next, I went through my flashcards that I made as I went along through the units. As you guys know, I didn't have a lot of time to actually study because it the material took so long to get through just in general. So I sort of studied as I went along. Making the flashcards helped me and I ended up knowing a pretty good amount of them. So um, I don't feel as bad about not going through them. <laughs> So the next morning, I studied a little more right before my exam. I basically went through all of the learning objective documents that I compiled and wrote on them, highlighted things, pointed out key things that I needed to remember or things that I was iffy on, just reviewing all the material that I didn't really get to review as much. Next, I wrote out the things that I was most unsure about just like specific terms that I didn't have memorized. Um, I did this for topic one and then got tired so I only filmed topic one because that's literally all I did. I just felt as prepared I, as I could be for the exam and it was literally that morning at 11.30 so I didn't feel like I wanted to do too much more studying that morning because I felt like I was as prepared as I was going to be. Okay guys that's it for today's video. Thank you so so much for watching. I appreciate you guys with all of my heart and I will see you very soon in another video. Peace out guys.